Hey, what up, y'all? We got a next video for y'all today. And of course, we're talking about the most recent update in Gran Turismo 7. But before we continue on, I want to give y'all a quick heads up, man. Y'all could actually expect some different content coming to this channel. I don't want to just leave it to sim racing. Of course, I'm going to keep uploading sim racing content. So it's not going to stop. So if you're not messing with the new content, just wait until I upload some sim racing and then y'all could definitely show some love with that. But overall, I'm bringing a lot more variety to the channel. But let's continue on. And I've been looking around to see what people felt about the new update. And I have to be honest, it doesn't seem like people in the Gran Turismo community actually likes this update at all. And I understand why, because it seemed like it leaning more towards the sim racing aspect of it. So the cars doesn't have as much grip. It's a little bit more challenging to catch when the car is losing its grip. And just a few more things we had to work out. Man, you see, I just overtook this dude and he just disappeared. Now I have to say, do y'all think Gran Turismo was kind of trolling us a little bit because they actually dropped <laughs> this track, which is one of the most technical, one of the most challenging tracks in the game. This is a track they decided to drop after the new physics update. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Now, of course, this is still one of my favorite tracks in the game. I have not mastered this track yet. Trust me, my time isn't up there yet, but I just love how technical this track is and how little room, how much little room we have to mess up. I do enjoy all that in this race. It's extremely technical. But anyways, back to the updates and how I feel about the new patch. And I don't mind it, but it's still a little bit I have to get used to, right? Because the first time the patch dropped was when Spar was up there, one of my favorite tracks. Again, I'm giving them some props. The dailies have been hitting lately. Thank you all. So I went out there with my AMG and right before the patch drop, I'm talking about the day before your boy was just wilding out and doing really, really well. But after the patch, you see that chicane where you got to floor it, where you don't even remove your feet off the acceleration, the first chicane. I was struggling to clear it anytime I hit the curb. Where normally I'm able in this game to ride that curb and it'll be just fine. As soon as I touch the curb, yeah, my car was out of whack. So I saw the difference instantly. So now I had to take that chicane with a little bit more caution, a little bit wider, and just be a little bit more careful where you, normally when I floor it and I ride that curb, I'll be just fine, man. So I already seen a huge difference in what I'm able to do in terms of riding the curves. Now, the next thing is the braking, because normally I could just slam that brake 100% and I stopped good, then I turned it. But now, more than ever, let me know if I'm the only one that feels that way. It might just be me, J just might be my braking settings overall, and I might have to make some adjustments. I'm open to being wrong. But it seemed like I just have to trail brake a little bit more than usual when or after the patch drop. Because right now, almost every time I hit that 100%, my brake is locking up, y'all. And I try it in a few cars. The McLaren is the same thing. Of course, the 911 is the same thing. Or the 911, I say 911. <laughs> the 911 is the same thing. And of course, one of my favorite cars, the AMG, it was the same thing. I was like, what the hell is going on? This is a lot of getting used to, especially after I already trained myself to race this game in particular same way great overtake by my guy i'm not trying to force him because the first place already got a good distance between us and him and of course we're still away from the pack when it comes to the fourth and fifth place so basically we solidify our position here and we could make as you're all gonna see we're gonna make a few mistakes but not enough especially racing this track where all we have to do is pretty much survive, y'all, especially after the new physics update. All you have to do right now, this week, at least for the first few days, is survive the race because the amount of people right now is quitting out the races. It's ridiculous. I see people complaining from far and wide about these new physics update and these new, this new daily to go with the physics update, but I actually like it. <laughs> Maybe because I'm staying in the race and it's guaranteed me 
almost every time I race a top eight, right? No matter what position I start off in. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But what we was at, we just talking about the breaking and how it's locking up. Yeah, it's on another level, y'all. It's pretty much on another level, but it's something we could get in, used to, especially if you play other sim racing titles. It's something I could get used to. But what I see from now on, if they keep going in this direction, it's easier for us who really play Gran Turismo or the high clip to make a transition to other sim racing titles. For example, the ACCs of the world. Um, the Rent Sport was pretty solid as well. I enjoy Rent Sport, enjoy the handling of that game, enjoy the force feedback of that game, enjoy that, man, everything about that game, man. I can't wait till the official full game drop but it's getting closer and closer to those titles because one thing Gran Turismo always boasts about is its realism, but it always has this crit criticism of being a simcade, right? So that's a little backhanded compliment that sim racers give to this game. Although the game for me is just mad fun, it's always in the back of your head, oh, they, they don't consider this to be real sim racing, man. But clearly they're hearing all the noise and making those moves in that direction i took it over back here and I, again i'm not trying to force it but he messed up you're gonna see a lot more messing up happening throughout this race and we just racing along each other we know our positions are solidified we're gonna either way we're gonna be in the podium y'all now let me know if y'all want a more chaotic gameplay because i have some really good chaotic gameplay where i still was able to you know place myself in some good positions but trust me a lot of crashes <laughs> a lot of ghosts in those as well but i just wanted to bring a simple gameplay here for y'all or a simple race for y'all while we're speaking about the most recent updates and changes and let me know what y'all think if y'all got on the game so far let me know if y'all like the new update or not but for me it is doable there is a little learning curve to it of course we just gotta readjust our way of playing now if you play a lot of acc easier transition in my from my perspective or other pc sim racing titles maybe acc on console as well it have something similar but yeah, a lot of changes are not the first time it's not the first time I felt the game that felt like this, but it's very new for Gran Turismo 7, if you know what I'm saying, right? So whereas I'm normally going to hit that gas, it'll just break randomly without even any high, high IQ thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, we have to readjust the way we approach some cons. Look at this, how this whip across here, man. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. A lot of time that was happening too to me. And I was like, okay, I got to be very careful how I go down in the first or even how I take off from the first. Like, I gotta be a lot more careful with what I'm doing in the car, right? But anyways, man, um, that's all I had to say, man. Let me know what y'all think about the gameplay. Now, again, a lot of craziness going on. Check out after here, I couldn't even break. And trust me, I hit the same break marker. But what was even more amazing to this one is that it didn't feel like my car had dirty tires. I was still able to take this corner really good. Like normally, if I go off like that, I'm not able to take that corner good at all. So I was really surprised in that. So I was really cautious, but I didn't feel, look at this right here. Next corner again, same thing. I was able to take the corners really, really well, although I went all the way off. Again, normally, it's hell to pay once you go off like that in Gran Turismo. So they even, from what I could see, they even lessen the effect of how the dirty tires react. That might just be me or that might just be in this situation, but I went off a few times in this race, as y'all gonna see coming back up. <laughs> One of them gonna be a real key mistake and it's gonna piss me off because somebody's gonna call me on the phone and as they call me on the phone, yeah, it, it's gonna just mess up everything, y'all. So we're gonna, just gonna fast forward real quick to show y'all the what it is. These are the most annoying mistakes that happen to me. Now I'm minding my business, I'm in a good position, not worried, I'm like, everything's good, and guess what happened? My phone started ringing. Now, I always keep my Bluetooth headset in my ear, and as soon as I answer, I definitely miss the breaking marker on this one, and this happened. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go all the way in right now. Now, remember, this person is in my ear, 
and they are complaining in my end. I was so mad that I missed this freaking marker. <laughs> and guess what's gonna happen? Of course I'm gonna get a penalty, but guess how much? Now, I was so upset at this. I was like, yo, I just ruined my race. You see everybody else in here is about to pit right here. The guy right behind me pit, and of course he caught up to me. But I saw everybody else pit. I'm like, yo, how much seconds is this gonna be? I am so annoyed. I was like, yo, I just ruined my race by just answering this phone that I didn't want to pick up in the first place. In the first place, right? And check it out, y'all. Four full seconds. I was blue mad. I was so pissed while I was even talking on the phone. I was so annoyed because this is probably one of the cleanest races I had so far <laughs> without any major crashes. It wasn't a no big set of crowd and then I gave him a little bump, but I, I didn't overtake him out there and keep going. You know what I mean? I didn't do that on purpose. I was just mad and not as focused, man, to be honest. So I was just blue mad, y'all. I've never been so upset, man. But I was like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm still in a decent position. Now, the messed up part about VR is I can't really see the other races on the leaderboard and how far they are. I know he's right there, but as for the others, I really don't know. All I know to myself is I am right now serving a four second penalty. You could imagine what's going through my mind right now. Root. Just keep racing. It is what it is. Most of the people already quit out. How bad can it really be? <laughs> Tell me if this ever happened to y'all, man. Now, he went a little wide right there, so I was able to overtake him. But I already know it doesn't matter either way. I'm just going to just, you know what I mean? Just do what I do. It is what it is. And, yeah, that four seconds is about to come up. And this one definitely hurts, man. It, it definitely hurts. All right. So... It is what it is. I never really gained back the position, so I'm just going to skip right now to the last lap and let me know what y'all think about the video. Let me know what y'all thought on the new updates of Gran Turismo 7, man, the new physics updates. Uh, it, it's not that bad. I know it's a little bit harsh for a lot of people, but if you played other sim racing titles, it will just be a next, you know, and just a little bit getting used to, man. It's not that bad at all, man. But anyways, y'all, Till next time, how best one be safe out there, y'all. Peace. And of course, as I said before, we will be bringing some additional, some different content to the channel. Y'all definitely could look out for that as well. But we still will be sticking to sim racing as a core videos on this channel. But anyways, man, how best one be safe out there, y'all. Peace. Got my channel back, got my channel back. All them haters did was give life to Brute Reacts. Bringing you the news and can't nothing hold us back. With the next video, run and tell them that. Hey, we the Brute Squad, we the Brute Squad. 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 We the